This is the Chapter 7C assignment video. And the first problem, we, we, are do, we are doing hypothesis tests for means. So the first problem says, a random sample of size, n equals 64, shows the point estimate for the mean length of time U.S. commercial jets have been in service to be 15.8 years. And the standard deviation is 8.3 years. Test the claim that the prop, that the for the population of U.S. commercial jets that the mean age is less than 18 years old. Use a significance level of alpha equals 0.05. So I'm just going to highlight some of the important pieces here um, in the problem. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do anytime I'm running a hypothesis test is to identify what is the claim, what's going on here. Um, so the claim is that the mean age um, for jets is less than 18. So this would be that the mean, the population mean, is less than 18 years. Now, um, if this were false, the opposite of this would be that the mean age is greater than or equal to 18 years. So it's one of the two, it's one or the other. Um, so um, we have to identify which is the null and which is the alternative. So the null is the one with equality here. So the null is that the mean age is greater than or equal to 18, and the alternative is that the mean is less than 18. And I always like to go in and identify um, which one is the claim. So the claim in the problem was that it was less than. So that is the alternative hypothesis. This is the one that's the claim. Um, so let's go ahead and answer the questions. This part is multiple choice. So what is the null? Okay, here's the null. I got that. It's right here. The alternative is that it's less than. So this would be D. <clears throat> what is the rejection criteria using the p-value method? So we reject the null if the p is less than alpha. So in this problem, alpha is, that's our significance level, is 0.05. So this would be A. I reject the null if the p-value is less than 0.05. So our, our rejection is always about the null, whether or not we're going to reject the null or not. That's the decision that we make. Okay, now it's asking us to find this is the test statistic. Um, <clears throat> so this is a mean, and this is going to come from StatCrunch. So this is where we go, stat. Now for this problem, this is about a mean, not a proportion. So since it's about a mean, we go to t-stats. So t-stats, one sample, and we do have the summary data. So the summary data is from the problem here. So we took a sample um, to figure out, you know, what's going on with the age of these jets. So we took a sample of 64, came, came up with the average age, and the average age was 15.8 with a standard deviation of 8.3. And the sample size is 64. So we looked at 64 jets to determine um, their age. So we are running a hypothesis test on um, 18, So because that's what our claim is about. The claim is that the mean age is less than 18. So this becomes 18, and we need to make sure this is less than 18. And we're ready to um, do the hypothesis test. So when we hit compute, we get our test statistic and our p-value. Um, so the test statistic looks like is negative 2.12. Okay, so that's C. So it's our test statistic. And the p-value is 0 0.091, which is B. Now, what is our decision? So is our p-value less than alpha? Alpha is 0 0.05. This is our p-value. P-value is less than 0 0.05. So our decision is to reject, not this one, this one. Reject the null always, always, always make the decision about the null. So 
reject the null. Then we just have to write a concluding statement. Um, this is where I'm going to reference the formula sheet in the box here. So we made a decision to reject. And that was this one right here. Then we have to decide, is the claim the same as the null or was it the, the claim the same as the alternative? And we identified that clearly here that the claim is the same as the alternative. So this is um, the concluding statement we're going to make. Um, so there is evidence, we get, did get a low P, so there is enough evidence to support the claim. And if you think about it, um, we rejected the null because we got a low P value. So that means that that supports this. We're rejecting this, it's supporting this other statement, which is our claim. So we do have support for the claim here. So uh, we would say, part C here, the sample data does provide sufficient evidence to support the claim that the true population mean of all U.S. commercial jets is less than 18 years. So that would be C. So this is just a multiple choice type problem, but basically um, I just did a complete hypothesis test. Um, always starting with identifying the claim and what your null and the alternative is. Let's look at the next one. So the next problem says the time required for an interview is normally distributed. A random sample of 21 interviews is taken and has a mean time of 82.7 minutes and a standard deviation of 16.4 minutes. Using a 0 0.10 significance level, test the claim that the mean interview time is greater than 80 minutes. First thing we do is identify what the claim is. The claim is that the mean interview time is greater than 80 minutes. Then if this were if this ended up being false, the opposite of this would be that the mean is less than or equal to 80 minutes. So here's the two opposing statements. It's either greater than 80 minutes or it's less than or equal to 80 minutes. It's one or the other. So now we have to decide um, which one of these is the null and which one is going to be my alternative? The null is always the one with equality in the statement. So here's the equality that the mean is less than or equal to 80. So that is the null hypothesis. The alternative is that it's greater than 80 minutes. And alpha in this problem is 0 0.10. That's our significance level, 0.10. I need to identify which one of these is my claim. This is the claim. Well, I stated in the problem that's the alternative is my claim. And this, we're going to do a right-tailed test here. Right-tailed test. We're going to confirm that um, in StackCrunch. But we're out here. I'm looking in this tail greater than 80. So rejection criteria. We're going to reject the null if we get a p-value that is less than alpha, or less than 0 0.10. Let's go to StatCrunch and get everything that we need to uh, run our test and make our decision and make our statement about what's going on here. Uh, let's go to back to StatCrunch. And stat, T stats, because we're talking about a mean, not a proportion, but a mean, so T stats, one sample with some. Here's the summary data. We went out and took a sample, um, and from that sample, the average time for an interview was 82.7, so that is greater than 80, and the standard deviation is 16.4, and the sample size was 21 interviews. So it seems like um, something is going on here. Um, the claim is that it's greater than 80, right? That was our claim is that the average interview time was greater than 80 minutes. So what do we do? We went out and we got the sample and we looked at it. And um, based on the sample, um, we got that it was 82.7 minutes in length. And that is greater than this. Um, but what we have to decide is, did this just happen by chance? You know, there's going to be some normal variation with things out there. Um, did this kind of just happen by chance? Is this pretty likely to happen? Or is this unlikely to happen? If this is um, less than a 10% chance of happening, then we have evidence to reject the null here. So we're looking to see if we have evidence. So let's look at StatCrunch. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Well, there we go. Um, to decide uh, if we have enough evidence to reject the null. 
Um, so we have, oops, let me do that again. Something doesn't look right. Um, let me go back. All right, let's go to stat, T stats, one sample with summary. Um, sample mean we got was 82.7. A standard deviation we got was 16.4. The sample size was 21, and all of that is just coming from here. Here's my sample size. Here's the sample mean. Here's my sample standard deviation. And we're running a hypothesis test um, off the claim of 80. So 80 is what we're claiming against, and our claim here is that it is um, greater than 80. So this defaults to equals here. Um, even though we have greater, um, less than or equal to here, this just defaults to that equality. We're testing off of this value here of 80. And we're looking over here in the right tail. Um, so let's try this again. Okay, that looks right. So I think I left off the um, hypothesis test part. So test statistic, we got um, 0.7544. Our p-value was 0.2297. So what that means, I'm going to draw this time up here. Um, so we have a test statistic up here of about 0.7544, about this location here. And this is your standard normal distribution. Um, well, actually, it's a t distribution um, because it's a mean. But so we've got this distribution here, and this is the test statistic related to our sample. So this area here is our p-value, which is 0.229. Let's just verify everything. I like to take a look at my, um, this is a T distribution, not a normal distribution. Um, it's a T distribution here, and it says our degrees of freedom are 20, and that's correct because our sample size was 21. Your degrees of freedom is your sample size minus one, so that looks good. And um, this right here is our p-value. It's the um, area above our test statistic right here. So that's about um, 22 or about 23%. So let's talk about what that means. What, what decision are we going to make? So the p-value is the probability that we would get this as our sample. Um, so we, we're claiming that it's greater than 80. We go get a sample of 82. That is greater than 80. But what's the probability that this would happen? You know, just randomly, we're going to get some variation. Turns out the probability of getting a, a mean time, interview time of 82, there's about a 20 3% chance that that would happen. Well, that's not that unusual. In this problem, we're considering anything less than 10% to be unusual or to be evidence of um, that something's going on that we need to reject our null hypothesis. So our decision here is we fail to reject. The P wasn't low. Um, so we, we don't reject the null. The, the thing that we say is if the P is low, the null has to go. Well, our P wasn't low. So we're not going to reject the null. So our decision here is fail to reject the null. Our decision is always about the null. Um, so we did not get evidence. So in our concluding statement, we'd say, we would say there is not evidence. But now we have to say something about the claim. There's not evidence what? Um, we're not rejecting this. So since we're not rejecting it, and this is my claim, we didn't get evidence to support this. Um, so we would say there is not evidence to support the claim. But let's just, let's just go back to the chart and just confirm everything here. Um, so our decision was fail to reject. So here's our decision, fail to reject. So we have to choose either this or this, depending on what our claim was. So looking back, our claim was the alternative hypothesis. So we're going to use this statement which is what we did. There is not evidence to support the claim that the mean interview time is greater than 80 minutes at the 0 0.10 significance level. So this concludes um, the video for doing hypothesis tests for means.